Ooh, hello there. Yes, well, it's the weekend. Yes, I know some of you have to go to work, but I don't, so it's official. It's the weekend. Um, yesterday I was uh, intrigued. My little teachery sense was uh, prickled by Patrick Christie and guests. Um, talking about the NEU, the National Education Union, voting to go on strike. It's their sort of conference season at this time of year. Uh, don't quite know if we're going to see any government ministers turning up. It's unlikely this year, I think. Anyway, um, uh, Patrick was getting very cross because obviously the uh, people like him in the media always get cross when people go on strike. But I was intrigued to see Mark Littlewood. We'll speak some more about him after I show you a clip um, discussing what needs to be done in the uh, teaching area. So, um, yeah, his other guest, which I will just note for the sake of um, uh, inclusion, is Rebecca Reed, who's a writer who I, is, I'm dimly aware of as being vaguely left-wing in the sense of, you know, properly left-wing, not just your token Benjamin because we need somebody to laugh at. And uh, Adam Brooks, who's uh, a bloke that runs a pub. Um, I, I can't say anything else about Adam Brooks, but except he comes out with the type of comments that a bloke that runs the pub you would expect to have. So, anyway, let's dive into the clip and then we'll unpack it. Matt, I'll start with you, Mark, on this. I mean, the idea now that kids could be taken out of school again because teachers are being led into a strike by a bloke who wants to globalise the intifada doesn't sit that well with me. Doesn't sit that well with me either. There's two different things here, aren't there? The first is his fruitcake lefty politics about NATO and the Middle East and the rest of it. Why the head of a teachers union in Britain is talking about the Gaza conflict is beyond me. It'd be like Benjamin Netanyahu coming out and pronouncing on NHS waiting lists or something. You'd well, what the hell is going on here? He, he should stick to his lane, which is about teaching. So it, it is cranky and bananas that you have a teachers union which is spending so much of its time talking about Palestine, for mm. crying out loud. Um, then you've got to move on to what he actually says about the education system itself. OK, well, that is his lane. And I've got some sympathy like you have, mm. Patrick, with teachers. I mean, I just looked through before coming on air. There's sort of 87 different pay grades. They're not yeah. well-paid people at all. They do get generous pensions, by the way. Mm. Uh, but but holidays, people but, always say yeah, as well. Uh, the holidays are generous, but they're not well-paid for, for their skill level. But if they want to be, I think we're going to have to make teaching a bit more private sector-like. I was trying to work out and find out how many teachers in Britain have been fired for incompetence, not gross misconduct or sexual assault, just yeah. not been up to the job. National statistics, I believe, are not collated anymore, but in the 40 years, in the four decades to 2010, how many teachers across the country do you think were fired for incompetence? So over 40 years? Over 40 I, I, honestly, years. I mean, I can think of a few that I had, it probably should have been, but go 18. On. 18. So across sorry, the country. You think the solution to not having enough teachers is to fire more teachers? Absolutely it is. If you want the best people, like in the private sector, you get rid of the chaff and you pay so the So you wheat. don't think that the private sector is because they pay well? Because yes, well, there you have it. You see, the man what knows. Now, for those of you that aren't aware of Mr Littlewood, uh, he used to run the Institute of Economic Affairs, which is about as 55 Tufton Street libertarian think tank as you can get. He's now the director, somehow or other, I didn't vote for him, but anyway, of... Um, the popular conservatives, the popcons, you know, those people that cheerleaded for Liz Truss. Because, drum roll, Mark Littlewood went to big boys school Oxford with his mate Liz Truss. And Liz Truss, you remember her? Yeah, she was brilliant, wasn't she? For at least six weeks, very much under the influence of the sorts of ideas that Mark Littlewood has always championed and is championing here. And you can see how well that actually worked out in real life. Anyway, leaving that aside, of course, his solution to everything, his solution to everything and everything, is to uh, basically privatise it, because we all know what a great success story all privatisation has been with the British economy for the last 40 years. So his solution to teachers being badly paid is to give them less rights, because that's the way it works, OK? Now, the way economics works for those of you that, that, that are not aware of this, OK, you have fixed costs and you have variable costs. Now, your fixed costs are your buildings, etc. and stuff like that. 
you know it you can plan ahead hopefully anyway if the government doesn't muck you around with the amount of money you've got as to how much you've got but your variable costs are going to be things like the amount you can pay your teaching staff now if you turn a school into a business that decides to make a profit then the fixed costs cannot be altered very much but your variable costs in terms of how much you pay your staff or indeed how much training you give them or whatever perks you give them can sure as hell be cut to the bone wonder what happened recently to teaching and i wonder why teachers are upset about it i mean he really is here showing his ignorance of how unions work in terms of their international solidarity the way that teachers work the way that schools work because they are these days effectively privatized nobody coming into teaching these days will get a good pension i don't have a good pension because i'm on a zero hours contract like an awful awful lot of teachers if mark doesn't know that what the hell is he doing as pontificating on these things and the answer is well because he is a voice that is highly respected all those six weeks that Liz Truss was there being advised by people like Mark from the IEA you can see how well respected he is and to suggest that teachers aren't being fired enough for incompetence one has to suggest well how come Mark hasn't been fired for incompetence how come Liz Truss is still all over the news pontificating about things how come she wasn't in essence fired and left in ignominy well the answer is because those rules don't apply to people like Mark or like Liz or the rest of them they only apply to the proles like you and me who need to be persuaded to give away our rights to make everything better and remember if you don't believe in that you have a loony lefty viewpoint yeah yeah and you mustn't express your loony lefty viewpoint through the ballot box like say with a union or anywhere else because that will upset mark and he knows what's best for you he knows best about everything apart from maybe teaching or the economy or politics or maybe his mate liz truss still that's just you know like my opinion anyway do have a lovely weekend i know i'm going to because i'm still not at work hooray till next week anyway enjoy <laughs>